Alright guys, before this video starts, I want you guys to like, subscribe, and turn the on. And before I get into this video, I actually guys, guys, gotta let you guys know. Comment down below if you guys like the Fortnite videos better. Like when I, um, like when I showcase Fortnite videos on my commentary, my low commentary videos. Or do you guys like when I do, uh, that, like when I do the other stuff, like when I do Fortnite. Do you, are you guys gonna like when I do Fortnite, or are you guys gonna like the other ones? Cause I find the Dauntless videos better. Um, not Dauntless, I forgot what it's called. I haven't played again for a long time. Um, videos better. You like these games or these commentary videos better. Anyways, guys, in today's downfall video, I'm actually gonna be talking about a YouTuber, one by the name of Shane Paulson. Shane Paulson is a YouTuber with a YouTube of fucking subscriber count of like 23 million, 30 million. Now, he actually made a video a long time ago saying that he was a rapist and stuff. Now, he's actually lost about 200k subs ever since he did that. So, uh, I don't know. He's kind of fucked. He's kind of fucked in my opinion. Guys. He's kind of fucked. He is kind of fucked, bro. Because I feel like there's no way he could come back for that unless he actually was in the right, which I don't believe he's anywhere close to the right. So, I just don't believe in a fact if I'm actually coming back for it. And if he does end up coming back for it, then I, well, fuck me, bro, honestly, because I, I couldn't come back for that, you know? But, you know, he's Shane Dawson, so I, then again, I don't know if he's gonna come back for that, because he always comes back for the most stupidest shit ever. Now, do I think he should be losing his account? Do I think he should be losing subscribers? And do I think he doesn't deserve his platform? Absolutely not. And the reason why I said this is because that's a long time ago, and it looks like he has changed as a person. Now, people, I'm, people are probably gonna hate me a lot. Like, people are gonna be like, Lucid, what the fuck, bro? Like, I thought you were like a person like Leafy, like, you know, the instant. Nah, 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 I'm not like Leafy, dude. I'm not like Leafy at all. What I'm trying to prove is that, basically, that's like, something stuff like 12 years ago, dude. Like, why does, why do you have to bring it up? Yes, he, he did blackface. What about Kingstar? The guy who went on to say nigga on live stream. Not even nigga. I can say nigga because I'm a Mexican, right? But he said the ER version of nigga. He said the hard ER. And nobody ever lost, he never lost his subscribers because of that. So why can somebody else, like Kingstar, I mean, not Kingstar, Shane Dawson lose his subscribers? And that doesn't make any sense because Kingstar did not lose probably more than a thousand subscribers on that day he did that. And half the subscribers are fucking probably little white scrawny boys that say the word every single day anyways. So, it, it, besides that point, I believe Kim Star's, I'm not, Shane also fans are probably all girls. I would think they're all girls because he just show keeps makeup all the time. And scary videos, I, I don't think those scary videos are like meant for guys though. Because a lot of their shit are like girly and sometimes and all that stuff. So, I mean, I don't believe... And the fact of him losing all his subscribers, I do believe that he should have lost maybe around 300k. But this dude has lost maybe 2 million in the past two months of that even happening. Now, do I believe that Tati should have actually went on a fucking video and make up lies? No, I think she should have just fucking left that alone because now she's part of the drama and now she's gonna have to get taken care of. And if I feel like she should be treated the way like Shane Dawson should because. Let's be honest, she said the n-word too one time in her life anyways. Anybody has said the n-word one time in her life. Maybe not everybody has said the ER hard word, but everybody has said the n-word one time in her life. And they were white. Now, white people should lose everything for saying the n-word, even without the ER. But they should lose absolutely everything in their future career for saying it with the ER word. Because why do you even need to fucking say that? You have so much other words in your accountability that black people can't even say. And Mexicans can't even say, you know? So, I just think it's a really fucked up thing, but also, I think it's time we focus on bigger stuff, like, for example, we should probably be fucking focusing on, like, literally, the protesters out there, everything out there, we should be focusing on them, because they're the airport zones right now, not some fucking little girly drama about some fucking makeup. Now, I know I'm gonna get some controversy over this, but it's true. Why be causing a fucking lawsuit against this man, saying there's a criminal investigation on his guy, Pornhub? But we're not getting a criminal investigation. Oh my God! Insta instigation. Jesus Christ! My fucking dumbass on uh on uh you know the cops because cops have been breaking stuff um of their own property and have been burning places, riots. Now I'm not saying that no black person has ever 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 broke that suddenly in their whole life. That, that, that yes, they probably have fucked up a couple things in their whole life in that riot type station. 
but I don't believe that they should be blaming the black people for absolutely everything they're saying. Even people like Jake Paul have been spotted literally fucking looting. I don't know how much it takes for a cop then to be spotted since cops sometimes could be almost as retarded as a fucking Jake Paul person, okay? Now, I'm not saying that cops, all cops are bad. I'm simply saying that the cops that do do these riot stuff, even if you don't know them and they're secretly doing it, they are fuckheads and they need to go to jail for life. Now, obviously, I'm, who am I to say? I'm a fucking 15 year old, bro. I'm not, I'm not fucking 39 year old, 20 year old fucking doing this shit, okay? I'm simply trying to prove a point of what people are trying to say, okay? I'm trying to prove a point of what people are, are talking shit about, you know? Now, Shane Dawson should lose everything. Fuck that man. Fuck that. Fuck YouTube for, for a minute, for a second, okay? Focus on real life. Don't fucking focus on makeup, my dude. Like, if anything, if people, if we're talking about the past and who should lose their shit, Jeffree Star or Jeffrey Dahmer, everybody should be losing their shit, dude. King Star, Leafy, because everybody has done a fucked up thing in their whole life on the YouTube channel, okay? I shouldn't be losing my shit, though, because I didn't do nothing in my whole world. I mean, I have said the N-word many times, but that's just because I'm Mexican and I get the free will. And I never said it to an actual African-American. I only say it when I'm, like, fucking, when I'm actually, like, just fucking around, you know? I don't actually mean it when I'm saying it, you know? But I believe when a white person says it, it's kind of more interactually fucked because a white person is the person who fucking enslaved the blacks. So Shane also has been losing many subscribers, and I do believe he should be losing every one of his subscribers, especially since the one time when he said he was he wanted the kid to suck a banana on the screen. I don't I don't know what, how much that needs to take to prove that kid that he needs to lose everything. Okay, he needs to fucking lose everything. I don't care who the fuck you are, and you know that Shane Dawson is a pervert now, and he should probably lose everything because of that. I don't care if it's an intellectual pass. I don't care about that. You don't say that stuff to two fucking twelve year olds or like nine year olds, dude. You don't fucking say that shit. Like I don't care how old they are now you should lose your whole entire shit for that because that right there is means you're a fucking predatory to the galaxy okay so if you guys enjoyed this downfall like the video and check out your song if you guys want to post more downfalls i uh, have dr respect downfall video and it's worked it, this took a very long time to upload to work on so if you guys actually did go to enjoy don't forget to like subscribe and turn post notifications on i would appreciate that and peace love you guys uh and stay lucid